Hiya guys and welcome back to the Family Dynamics Challenge. As always we're starting with Yasmin cooking. It is a horrible day today. It's absolutely tipping it down. It's so dark. Uh, at least we don't have to water our plants but um, it's thunderstorming as well. Um, Yasmin is feeling a bit irritated from her period. I have just got rid of that so she shouldn't have periods anymore. Hopefully that will go away soon. Um, I've also got this whim that she wants to be mischievous to her dad. Um, obviously in the last part we had a big shock at the end where we went round her dad's house and there was a family. Um, he got married behind our back and he's had his wife move in with her three children. And I have gave them all makeovers by the way. I thought, you know, why not give them all makeovers? Um, I did get Yasmin to introduce herself to all of them because, you know, I think eventually she would want to get to know them, you know, that is her dad's family at the end of the day, but at the moment she's feeling very hurt by her dad. And I noticed that Dwayne felt, looked really sad. He looked really sad. He's just got married. He should be happy, you know? So we are gonna invite him round right now because we want an explanation of what is going on. Um, there is also something else I found out when I went into their household, um, into Dwayne's household, which I will tell you about shortly. I just don't want to get um too ahead of myself because that is a completely it's not a completely different storyline i think it mixes in with the storyline but it is about what well, you know manny it is about manny um i also did give M M miguel um some glasses because someone did say um you've got to put the glasses back on him so i have done that and i do want him to move in in this part but yeah our dad is here i don't want her to be really friendly with him because she's peed off of him she does want to be mischievous with him i might leave that for a minute but we're just gonna just ask about his day and then we, we're gonna come and well i think we're okay apparently we're just gonna come and sit and chat she doesn't even to ask him about his day we want to know what is going on we're not going to be off with our dad we know something's up but yeah we do need to talk to him you can tell by her face already she needs to have this conversation but i don't really know if she wants to um he's happy to listen but well he seems happy to listen but we shall see what he has to say so I think she's just going to be like, Dad, like, what the hell? I come over yesterday to invite you, you know, to invite Mikel over to introduce you to him. You know, we're getting really serious. And all I could see was, you know, what's going on? You look so sad. I find I find out that you're married, like literally what is going on? So basically what is explaining to her is, yes, I'm married. I'm so sorry I went behind your back. It all happened so, so quickly. I met Christian at work. She was um, involved in one of the stories I was covering. Um, so I spoke to her a lot. I got to know her a lot. We hit it off really, really well. He said, I, I did like her as the first person I've been able to connect with since your mother. And things went really well. He's saying, I didn't want to tell you straight away because yeah i shouldn't have gone behind your back and get married he said but i literally told no one he went i know i haven't been anyone with anyone since your mother and i thought it would really hurt you and i am really really sorry for going behind your back obviously so she's like what are you talking about i'm the one that always encourages you to go dating you know i didn't want to piss you but i've always said to you you know you 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 can be open with me i'm your daughter we're really close you're my family she's like so how did how did you go about getting married like what what happened he was on a lunch date with um christian they had a few bit too much to drink they were joking about getting married as they like each other so much and then they went and done it they went to the town hall they went and got married um and this is where jody comes into it Obviously, Yasmin is quite upset because she asked Jodie the other day what was going on and Jodie just basically said that they didn't meet up and have that chat when we know that they did. So Jodie works at the town hall. I think she's a charity organiser or something like that. She works at the town hall. She saw Dwayne there with Christian. Obviously, they were a bit drunk. They needed a witness to get married. Um, he is saying that Jodie you know said that we need to tell you but i told her i told her please promise you won't say anything until i'm ready they got married obviously the next morning he wasn't feeling 100 percent. he regretted it a bit like they shouldn't have done that you shouldn't go and get married when you're drunk but that's what they did now is that you know yasmin's like is that the reason you, you seem so down yes you seem so sad do you not want this if you rushed into it um, and he is happy with Christian. He really, really likes her. Now, the problem is that he didn't, Christian didn't tell him that she had children. 
he didn't know that Christian had children. It never got brought up. Obviously, he told them her all about Yasmin and um, Manny, but her children never got brought up. And she turns up the next day at his house with her suitcases and her children. And that's why he is so, so upset. Um, I think Yasmin's like, I would like to get to know Christian. I really would. But I am really annoyed that you didn't tell me. And I'm also annoyed. No, I don't want to ask him for money. And I'm also annoyed that she didn't tell you about the children. Like, what was the need in that? Why didn't she tell you about her children if you knew everything about each other? And he's like, yeah, I don't understand that. I do need to go and talk to her about it. Um, but yeah, now he has a family full, uh, now he has a household full of children that he didn't know about. Which makes me think, why didn't she say anything? Is she just using, is she just using Dwayne to, you know, have a house over their head? Um, I don't really know, because I know she didn't have a lot of money. I don't even know if she has a job. Obviously, we saw in the last part, they don't know who their dad is. I don't even know if they all have the same dads. Because I thought like maybe he'd done a runner, but then obviously um, the teenager is, I can't remember her name, she's a lot older than the children, so it doesn't really make sense where the dad is. I don't know if he's passed away, I don't know if he's in prison, I don't know at all. Dwayne doesn't know either, He didn't. he's not the type of person that would pry on people, he doesn't want to ask too many questions, but... He seems a lot happier now he's got it off his chest. We do also need to have a chat with Jodie because she should have told us. Even though she promised Wayne we're her best friend, she should have told us that she saw her dad, you know, she was a witness for her dad to get married. And the fact that Yasmin wasn't there at her dad's wedding is really upsetting towards her. But I think she feels better now. She's, you know, they've got it off their chest. They've had this conversation together and they seem a bit happier now that they've done that i am gonna let her be mischievous to him because that is what she wanted to do i hope that storyline makes sense guys it, um no don't lie about your career i hope that storyline makes sense i kind of wish i wrote it down and read it out to you guys rather than look, having it in my head because i don't know if i've said everything that i've wanted to say but yeah basically he got married being drunk to christian at the town hall jody was there because she works there um she was a witness Okay, we are going to say goodbye to him now. She was a witness and basically Christian married him without telling him that she had the children and she's just turned up next day with her suitcases and the children. With Dwayne literally gobsmacked like, what is going on? They didn't even talk about moving in or anything. We are going to go ahead and send him home now. I do want to move in Mikael and get pregnant and hopefully have the baby at the end of the part. I will skip through a bit. Um, yeah, we're just going to make him leave. And then, because she does have work today, so... I would quickly like to invite Mikhail round. I'm so sorry. That was so, so much talking. Like, my mouth is so dry. <laughs> so, so much talking. Um, but, yeah, I hope you get the, the get the idea of the storyline. And we shall see what happens with him and Christian. I'm going to leave them alone. Our brother's here. Our brother had no clue what happened either. He had no, cl no clue at all. I will tell you uh, what is wrong with him in a minute because it is Manny. There is something wrong with Manny. Okay, we're going to invite in Mikhail. Oh my God, what a horrible day. We also need to get our um, uh, mixology skill up, but I'm not going to do that in the rain. Let's come and give him a lovely kiss. Yeah, so he has his glasses on now. I think he's super cute. I love him. I love him. I love him. I do near, still need to change Manny's tattoo because they do have the same one. Anyway, I haven't even read the comment of the video, so let's go ahead and do that while they go and have their little kiss. And today it is by Jaybury Simons who says, Wow, how stunning were Jasmine and Jodie looking? I can't believe her dad did that. I'd be furious. Maybe the more she gets to know Mikhail, the more the attraction will grow again. I really 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 hope so obviously they are much more in love than they are friends i would like to get that friendship up and uh, thank you so much for your comment jade thank you very very much and remember guys if you do want any of your comments mentioned in any of my videos you just need to comment down below and i'll pick them at random what a mouthful talk 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 that's all i've done talk bloody bloody talk someone did say that because sometimes they could be attracted to him, but because I changed the way he looked, that might make her not as attracted to him. So, you know, that might be that might be why. I do want to go ahead and move him in. I wonder, um, now I've put glasses on him, if she's attracted to him again. Oh, still basic looking. Uh, maybe as he changes over the years, she might... <laughs> She might like him. I'm, I'm intrigued. I am going to ask him to move in. I am intrigued to see how he feels about her. But yeah, we do want him to move on in and hopefully give us some money so we can give the house a bit of a makeover. It's looking a bit bare at the moment. So yeah, I would like to do that. I'd also like to take a photo with him, actually. That would be really nice. 
to celebrate the day of moving in. Did you say yes, my love? Do you want to move in? I need to get him a career as well. Or did I get him a career? I can't remember. I know he was a journalist, but I don't even know if he's moved in. I don't I don't think that works. Do you want to move into my house and give me babies and we can be together forever? Because that's what's going to happen. Okay, he is giving us 20,000. I love that. I love that. I love that. He did live in um, Evergreen Harbour, actually. 25 grand i hope we can do that i don't think there's anything in the rules that says we can't oh no wait sell the furniture yeah i've already clicked okay haven't i damn it okay no worries that is fine okay let's go and check out Mikel a bit miguel i was calling Mikel, and it is miguel i'm so sorry so yeah he is materialistic a kleptomaniac which i don't think yasmin's gonna like but she doesn't know that at the moment he has a fear of drowning that's so sad um he does not want a child right now uh-uh that's getting changed okay i'm gonna put he would love to have a child right now i'm pretty sure that's what yasmin has as well yeah she would love to be pregnant he thinks she's extremely attractive my love i agree she bloody is if he thought she was basic looking there would have been something wrong with him he's impressed by her yasmin sure knows what she's doing yet they're deeply connected they're smitten they're closer by memories they are soulmates already i absolutely love that so yeah let's um let's go and try for a baby because we're going to celebrate that we've moved in we're very very happy um i will definitely do some stuff with the house which i am looking forward to but yeah we're going to go and try for that baby i am um, like i always say sorry if it feels rushed but Oh my god, this is their first woohoo as well. We need to put our picture up. Let's put it on um, Miguel's side. Why they just have their little hanky-panky. Oh, that's lovely. So, so cute. Let's frame it. I want her to take this pregnancy test because I do, if we are pregnant, I do want to have the baby by the end of the part. Oh no, actually, do I not? Because I want names. Oh my gosh. No, I want the baby by the end of the part. Um, if you want to give me name suggestions for other pregnancies, go ahead and do so that'd be amazing i love when you guys give me name suggestions because sometimes they're ones i wouldn't even think about and they are amazing yep yeah, hopefully she is pregnant oh she's not oh don't start doing this to me okay hold on i had the wrong thing turned on this keeps happen happening in my let's plays it's so annoying they're just going to try for a baby again she has got work real real soon um i do want to get him a job which i will do when she goes to work yeah we literally have work in 38 minutes so can you hurry up with that hanky panky um we can't go my love jody i'm afraid because we do have work take that pregnancy test oh she's pregnant amazing right go to work my love go to work we can tell miguel later i think he already knows yep so i do want him to join a career i'm not sure what i want him to do maybe the business career because he is very materialistic i don't know maybe he wants to be the ceo of his own company one day but yeah, I think the business career is a good idea for him. If you don't think that's a good idea, you'll have to let me know and we can change it. Okay, I've just moved uh, the sofa around. So the computer looked weird there. I know it's right by the front door. Um, yeah, I will, for the next part, definitely give this house a good old makeover. It's not our forever home, but um, it will definitely do for now. I, I do really like this house, but I think it's too small if we're going to have like three to four children. I'm going to get him to go ahead and fill out these reports and then we will pick up i'll pay the bills too my love and then we will pick up in the morning hey guys it is the next morning miguel is just um fixing the toilet that yasmin broke when she got in for work yesterday he's just gonna have something to eat it's saying that he doesn't know anyone else i don't know what's happened i don't know if that's a glitch with him moving in because he had quite a good relationship with our dad because we got him to know um you know we asked our dad to get to know him basically they were friends so I am going to fix that and put them as friends. He also knew Manny and he also knew Jodie. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but I will definitely have to fix that. I don't know why that's glitched out a bit there. What's the matter, my love? I hate it here. No, you don't. I'm going to get rid of that. Seriously. It is Yasmin's day off today, which is amazing. I'm going to get her to do some baking and everything. I won't show it all on camera, but yeah, I do want to obviously get our money up as much as we can. We do need to sort our garden out too. Also, I aged down Miguel because when I went into his household to put his glasses on him, he was about to turn into an elder. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good, him coming around as an elder. So I did put him, he's a bit older than Yasmin. Yeah, he's about a week older than Yasmin. So he's got 10 days till he is an adult. But yeah, he is off to work shortly. He filled out his reports yesterday and I think it's excited for his new job 
after being a paparazzi for so many years is uh, it's just not him it's definitely not him he also yes. wants to woohoo with yasmin okay yasmin is up she's just gonna take a shower and then she is gonna give uh, that is not her brother she is gonna give her brother a call because yeah we heard by his dad that he's very upset so basically when i went into manny and Dwayne's household and when i gave all of christian and her children makeovers I went on Manny and I saw he had a really bad relationship with Jodie. It's in the red, like the bar is halfway in the red. And it says that he was hurt by her. So I'm assuming that obviously he found out, you know, when Christian and the kids turned up on the doorstep, that's how he found out. So he obviously was annoyed at his dad. I think he's got over that a bit now. He gets on really well with the teenage girl. What's her name? yeah maggie he gets on really well with maggie so that is really really good it's nice to have someone his age around and um, even though yasmin actually thinks that she's immature oh it's not coming up now but yeah yesterday it said she yasmin thinks she is immature i don't know if she was just being a bit bitter but yeah obviously manny thought he was close with jody we know he had that crush on her but he was very hurt by her that she didn't tell him or yasmin about the wedding she was a witness and she didn't say anything so he's very hurt by her they're not getting on well at all so yeah that's really not good are you going to work my love off you pop oh stop slow down what's your work outfit look at you you haven't got your glasses on yeah i think manny's okay she just gave him a call he's just very hurt by um jody so we will have to have a chat with jody at some point she's just gonna have some salad for breakfast apparently and then we are gonna get her to do some baking for the bake table i think yasmin would love to have um christian and the kids round for some dinner one night and um, we can do it as another dinner party so that could be our second gold event hopefully fingers crossed um okay our dad wants to come over yeah no worries at all yeah i think we will do that maybe in the next part because she's pregnant in this part, she's not going to want to be, you know, running around making dinner for everyone. But I think that would mean a lot to her dad. As long as he's happy. I mean, I know at the moment he's feeling a bit, he's not really sure what to think. But I just, we just want him to be happy at the end of the day. We really do. Oh my God, she stinks. I thought you took a shower, my love. She's got a lot of aspiration uh, points, actually, you know. So I might see what we can get for her. I am going to get the Savant one, I think, or Savant, whatever it is, because that does help skills go up quicker we also need to look after our garden i feel like today's going so quick already yasmin come on come on we have stuff to do come on my love when it comes to the next heir i don't know if i'm gonna pick like the first born the last born whatever i think i'm just gonna pick which one i think fits best of the personality with the next generation because the next generation for this challenge yeah they're going to be a lazy slob and a geek and they want to be a computer whiz yeah they basically are a bit of a loner they just want to play video games and do programming and they want to be in the basement all the time which will eventually turn into their bedroom so i think rather than just picking one like firstborn or we we'll go boy girl boy girl i think it's best to just pick one that fits um fits the part best I think we might, uh, our dad's going outside. I was going to send him home because he's really disturbing us doing our baking. <laughs> he really, really is. Oh no, can you spray bugs for us, my love? Okay, she likes baking. Yes, my love, we definitely want you to like baking. I'm so excited that Miguel, Miguel sorry, is now a part of our household and that she's pregnant. I'm so, so excited by that. We do also need to get a cow plant. Her dad just reminded me, he said, I have to go and feed at my cow plant. So I think in the next episode, I know in Oasis Springs there, I know where you can get one from there. So yeah, I think we're going to do that for the next part. Get our cow plant and just be careful that it, no one gets eaten by it. <laughs> oh no, our table got burnt. Oh no, our table, it's broken. <laughs> oh, I love that video. Let's replace it. That's so annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, Christian's here. Christian is at our sale. Oh, she brought something. She brought something for 104 spoliens. Thank you. Maybe she just done that. Maybe Dwayne said, look, I know Yasmin's doing a bake sale um, this afternoon. Maybe you should drop by and just take a look at her stuff like that. She does amazing, um, like excellent quality. She does amazing cakes and bagels and everything. So definitely go and check it out. And she obviously did. So we really, really do appreciate that. Okay, Miguel has been promoted to a office assistant. That's amazing. Okay, guys, we've just got a text from walker who was our other potential love interest and he wants to get to know um christian 
Oh, is it? Her name's not even Christian. It's Kirsten. I'm so sorry. I've been saying her name wrong this whole time. Her name's Kirsten. Um, he wants to get to know her better. I don't know what that means. I think Yasmin is just going to say, you know, of course, building friendship is a must. But just to let you know, she has just married my dad. I think that's what she's going to say. Um, I don't know if them things turn into anything more than friendship at all. But um, we shall see. We shall see what happens. So I just got Miguel to introduce himself again to Dwayne because I don't know what went wrong. And we put their relationship back at what it was. And it's quite funny. Miguel thinks that Dwayne is in dreamland. And I completely agree. I reckon that Yasmin has spoke to him about um, what's been going on and everything. And yeah, he thinks he's in dreamland. He doesn't understand what he's doing or anything. And Dwayne's such a nice guy, though. I think he will just completely let it go, what Kirsten done. But to be honest, I don't think... I feel like their marriage was just started on lies when it comes to the children. Right, you're shattered, my love. Why don't you go on to sleep? She should be having the baby tomorrow, so I'm super duper excited about that. He wants to ask Yasmin about her day. That's really, really cute. They're literally just working on their skills and stuff. So to let you know how she is doing with her cooking and baking. Baking, she's level five. Um, she's doing really good, good, really good in charisma, actually. Not that we need that, but um, she's doing really good. And cooking, she is level six. So she is doing really, really well with her skills. Okay, it's the next morning. Um, Yasmin has just got the option to like cooking, which is amazing because obviously that is what we want. We do need to clean this. It's very filthy. She's just making some pancakes this morning. Miguel is um, off to work this morning, but he didn't finish. He's filling out his report, so hopefully... He'll be in a good mood before he goes. He's feeling tense because he's bored. Are you bored, my love? Oh, my God, you are really bored, aren't you? Okay, once you get your breakfast, can you please watch a bit of telly before work? They're now on 25,000 simoleons, which I absolutely love. It makes me very excited for the house, for her bakery. Um, Hopefully, she will get promotion when she goes into work. Yeah, she should tomorrow. So, she will be on level five. So, can, she could potentially quit the career. Um, I think she might stay in it until she's had her second baby. Oh, my God, are we very angry? mood swing from pregnancy yeah after we've had the second baby i think maybe then she will think about the where's the door gone what the hell i think she will think then about the bakery that it will help her spend more time at home she is really feeling really really angry i think we are going to invite jody around i hope she don't take nothing out on her um yeah i think she wants to speak to her about what her dad told her and she also knows she's probably going to give birth today and she doesn't want to be on her own so yeah she is going to ask her bestie to come around oh my god this anger oh it is spooky day as well isn't it i forgot about that it is spooky day i mean i don't think we're going to be celebrating it really because she's so uncomfortable in her pregnancy oh my god she can literally chew it out i don't know if she'd do that because she's angry but also she doesn't want jody to leave because she doesn't want to be on her own well it's her first baby you know she's she's a bit scared maybe we should talk about the pregnancy yeah just apologize for our crankiness be like look thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today i do want to talk to you but if i get a bit cranky i do want to apologize now because i feel really hormonal and i keep getting really angry about little things she's gonna ask for a craved food item i think that will make them go out somewhere but i think that's a good idea for her to have her chat with jody she's li literally just gonna say like dad told me what you did um you know, I, I respect that you held your promise to him. But at the same time, I'm your best friend. He's my dad. You should, really should have told me. I think that's basically what they're going to have the conversation about. It will end fine. Um, Yasmin is very angry, but I don't think... Obviously, we've explained to Jodie how she's feeling with her third trimester hormones. So I think it will all be fine. Um, I think Yasmin would just say to Jodie, look, if anything big ever happens with my family ever again, you need to come to me straight away. And I think she said, you're completely right. I'm so sorry. I, I dealt with it the wrong way. I was just worried for your dad. I didn't know what to do. Anyway, uh, Miguel reaches out into his drawer to get his stapler and he's just to discover that someone has encased it in jelly. Isn't that a thing from the office? Don't they do that in the office? The US one. I love that. Will, will Miguel retaliate with his own prank? Uh, yeah, I think he completely retaliate i think he would um miguel knows exactly who did this and what to do about it tomorrow morning the jelly pranks the desk is going to be plastered in llama pictures love that my love it doesn't say what she had but she's feeling satisfied so that is amazing my love you look a lot better I've, i'm i'm glad what do you want to do with your dad you want to be funny with him all right 
obviously um jody's had to shoot off to work or something maybe there was an emergency at work um yeah she, i'm pretty sure she's a charity um organizer so maybe something's gone wrong with one of the upcoming events that they're doing so she's gone to do that so yeah i think we're gonna call our dad because we really don't want to be on our own yasmin is a very um independent woman like she's strong and she's independent but she's scared like being pregnant for the first time can be scary you don't really know what to expect obviously you hear other people's experiences and everything but everyone's experience is different it doesn't mean yours is going to happen the same way we're gonna yeah we're gonna complain about our mood swings because we keep having them and they're really not great and then i think we're gonna get him to come and feel the baby we're gonna boost his confidence he is feeling looking a lot more happier if i'm honest he is indeed but i don't know if he spoke to kristen or anything i don't think we really want to talk about it right now especially being pregnant we don't want to say the wrong thing let's come and cook our dad something yummy we can cook together we can cook with our dad take our mind off this last bit of our pregnancy she's feeling a lot better now she's feeling very inspired so i'm glad she's now acquired the gourmet skill as well so that is amazing Dwayne, are you gonna help or are you just gonna watch your pregnant daughter do everything <laughs> Is Miguel going to get a makeover today? A makeover? Uh, a promotion. He does not need a makeover. He is going to get a promotion today. So that is awesome. Build that money up as much as we can. Because then we can get a bakery and a new house eventually. Okay, let's grab a serving together. Okay, I think I'm going to wait until this Barbaroni comes. I feel like they're going to have a boy. I don't know why. I just feel like they're going to have a boy. I promise I haven't looked for anything. You guys know I like to find out with you. I think you're amazing, Dwayne. And you don't see your potential that's very true that is very very true okay he has got a promotion we are gonna there's a little trick-or-treat here but yasmin has just fell asleep i don't know if her dad's still here no i think he saw she's sleeping and knew miguel would be home soon so he's just left her too i can't believe she hasn't had this baby yet we are now assistant to the manager isn't that a thing from the office as well you're not an assistant manager you're assistant to the manager i swear that is how bloody funny okay my love you're so so bored where our telly goes like disappear when i do this it disappears i would yasmin are you gonna have this baby soon my love because i do need to end the part soon <laughs> i do indeed why don't you oh she's in labor she is in labor okay that's really exciting we are gonna go to the hospital yep have baby at the hospital and obviously we want um miguel to come miguel 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 these names guys you know me by now I always mess these names up i'm so sorry if that's so irritating so i bet it is okay here we go is this our doc it is indeed right we need to come and check in my love come and check in at the front desk and M miguel you better not do a runner like you need to uh, you need to save us i was just, just gonna say i'd like to like redo the hospital not myself i mean put like another lockdown because we always see the same old ones all the time okay my love there's the why is kirsten here that's weird what is i'm gonna try and find out her job to see if she actually works here because why would she be here i don't know what she does that's a bit weird she seems i don't know she seems to turn up at the weirdest time she keeps coming to our bank sales which is quite sweet actually and now we're at the hospital okay miguel is just going to the toilet and then he will come and join us in the room so he can come over here okay i'm excited i need to look up some names i'm gonna wait till we find out the gender first oh it's a girl i was not expecting that i need to find a cute girly name i just found a name harley i really really like that i think that could be a girl or a boy's name but harley shelby harley i hope it's just one because i haven't got another name thank god <laughs> yeah harley shelby our little baby girl i'm so excited to go and do a little nursery for her to do the house um i can't wait um and in the next part we will be going to find that cow plant. We will be having that dinner party, inviting uh, Kirsten and the girls, um, uh, sorry, the kids round, obviously to meet little baby as well. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm hoping we get pregnant again because she does want three to four children. So yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna have three or four at the moment, three or four, but we will definitely, definitely see. Oh my God, my heart just sunk. I thought my game cut out. I was like, no. But yeah, um, we've had baby Harley. I'm so, so excited um, to record. I want to record straight away, but I'm not going to because I like to see your guys' input. But yeah, anyway, guys, um, do feel free to leave me baby name suggestions for the next child because I do want to get pregnant. I want to have the first two quite close together, I think. Like I said, I'm not sure 
which one is gonna suit the um the next generation so yeah i would like to have them all quite close together and they need to get married as well don't they they need to get married when she's a young adult so maybe even a proposal in the next part we shall see but anyway guys i hope you're having a lovely day i really really hope you're enjoying this series and i shall see you in my next video bye